ಬಂದೇ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ್ವ ಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದು ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ಬಂದೆ ನಿಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ನಂದ ನಂದನ ವಂದೇ ರಾಧಿಕಾ ಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನು ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾಭನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಛಾಕಲ್ಪತುರ್ವಶಕ್ಕೆ ಪಾಸಿಂದು ಬಿವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನಿಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವಿಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮುಖಂ ಕರೋತಿ ಬಾಚಾಲಂ ಪಂಗುಂ ಲಂಘಯತಿ ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ಬಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದ ಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಳಸಿ ದೇವೈ ಪ್ರಿಯಾವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಶ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿಪದೆ ದೇವಿ ಸ್ವತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರುಂಚ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರು ಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ಭರು ಧ್ಯೇಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನವಿಷ್ಟದೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಭಿರಿಂಚನುತ ಶರಣ್ಯ ವೀತಾತ್ಮಿಹಂ ಪನುತಪಾಲ್ಲಭವಾಧಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಚರುಣಾರವಿಂದ ಜತ್ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನ ಕಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಿಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗೋವಧೂಷ್ವದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರಸಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮೈ ಕದಾ ಕಿಂ ಕರೋಸಿ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶಿವಾದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶಿವಾದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕಾ ಬುಧಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನ ಕಪಿತರು ಕಮಲ ಯಥಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜವರೌ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮ ಪಾಲೌ ಬಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ಬಂಧಿ ದಿವ್ಯೂಪಂ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ್ನ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ಭೀಷಿ ತಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗು ಮದಾಪಾರ ವಾರಾಣಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭವ ಭಜ ವೀಶ್ವನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ಯ ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀಜಸ್ವ ಭಕ್ಷಸಿ ಜಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬೀ ಸಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ನಿಷ್ಕಿಂಚನ ಭಗವದ್ಭಜನೋನ್ಮುಖ ಪಾರಂಗ ಪಾರಂ ಜೀಗ ಮೀಶ ಭವ ಸಾಗರ್ಷ ಸಂದರ್ಶನ ವಿಶ್ವನಾಥ ಜಶಿತರಂಚ ಹಾ ಹಂತು ಹಾ ಹಂತು 
विश्व भक्षणत्व असाधु निष्किंचनस्य निष्किंचनस निष्किंचनस्य भगवत भजनोन्मुखस्य परं परं बीजीग विमीश भवसागर से संदर्शन विषयनमथ जसीतन हा हंत हा हंत विश्व भक्षणत्व असाधु गौड़ीय गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपात जगदगुरु टोल्ड वी आर बिजी उथ सेफ एंड डिजाइन आवर दर्शन इज ऑलवेज बिजी उथ वाचिंग शिप सेफ एंड दर्शन शेप एंड डिजाइन आवर आई इज एडप्टेड टू सी ऑल सेफ एंड डिजाइन वे ने बार बॉन्डेड सोल गोईंग टू से गोईंग टू गोईंग टू सी सेफ एंड डिजाइन देन एवरीथिंग कंटामिनेटेड यू कैन नॉट अंडरस्टैंड एनीथिंग आई मीन ऑल युअर फाइन दर्शन कैन नॉट से चैतन्य महाप्रभु गिविंग दिस टीचिंग्स to us to be careful about all say all everywhere what we are watching on shape and design always busy how beautiful how ugly this way we are any object any man any woman we are busy with this but one pure sadhu not going to this this material darshan they have always they are busy watching the atma inside your body always watching the atma inside your body mahaprabhu in his whole life wanted to show us how to maintain purity whole life mahaprabhu wanted to show us how to maintain purity of our darshan of our body so he wanted to give heavy punishment to choto haridas he was you know he was bound to give heavy punishment to choto haridas to teach us all to teach us all mahaprabhu wanted to give heavy punishment to choto haridas because otherwise people can think is very easy everybody can try to enjoy their life this way you can remember when mahaprabhu in gaur leela in gaur leela here when mahaprabhu wanted to dance in the form of mahalakshmi in chaitanya bhagavat you can go and see mahaprabhu wanted to dance with the baba of mahalakshmi so this function i mean this was held at chai at present it is chaitanya mahat but it is actually chandrasekhar acharya bhavan uncle चंद्रशेखर आचार्य भवन आई मीन द अंकल ऑफ श्रीमान महाप्रभु इज देयर चैतन्य मार्ट प्रेजेंट दे आर महाप्रभु वॉन्टेड टू अरेंज वन ड्रामा वेरी नाइस नित्यानंद बाबू कैन प्ले गौरांग महाप्रभु कैन प्ले ऑल डिवोटिज दे कैन प्ले रोल सम रोल फाइनली महाप्रभु स्पीकिंग टू ऑल डिवोटिज दो not having controlling over their sense organ they have no right to attain that function those who are not having control over their sense organ they cannot go to attain that function i mean the drama then adwaita gosai sinivas acharya i mean sivas acharya they all speaking then we are not allowed then anyway we are not allowed we cannot go mapu speaking if you are not if if <coughs> if you are not allowed then who is allowed then mapu speaking okay by my blessing nobody can feel karma when the drama going on nobody can feel karma it is my blessing so this kind of drama mapu want to do mapu want to do some drama with uh, mahalakshmi in the form of mahalakshmi mahapu wanted to dance and there mahapu wanted to prove that i am all 
what is your father, mother, man, woman, whatever, all I am. Tameva mata chapita tameva, tameva bandhuscha sakha tameva, tameva vidvam dravinam tameva, tameva sarvam mama deva This sloka was proved that day. Mahapu manifests really, like, just like Mahalakshmi. Just like Mahalakshmi, it ditto, Mahaprabhu, in the form of Mahalakshmi dancing. So, by the blessing of Mahaprabhu, nobody was feeling trouble. But about Chotohridas, Mahaprabhu was very careful. Mahaprabhu never wanted to excuse him. I was speaking about Yoshit Sangha. On those days, I am speaking about Yoshit Sangha. If, if this flower, I think, is very beautiful, I like to take smell, this object be, become am I Yoshi Sangha, Yoshi Sangha. Any object, if I think with some enjoying mood, flower in the garden, fruits in the tree, water in Ganga, in the hot time, I am going to take bath four times, three times. It is enjoyment, no? Hot time, I am going to take bath in Ganga three, four times. It is one kind of enjoyment. It is not seva. You are not going to pay respect to Ganga to take bath, to purify. Your mood is totally different. This is the rules you will have to go to Ganga, pay Dandavat. After that you can worship and touch water and, and beg for pardon to come and take bath. This is the So To hot season, hot season we are going to take bath three, four times. But a cold season, then there is no respect for Ganga. No respect for Ganga. We are going to observe Ekadusi to maintain our good health. Akadashi is very good. If you are fasting, then we can grow nice health. This is not Akadashi. This is not Akadashi. We are think we doing observing Akadashi with this mood. If I observe Akadashi, then my, I can grow nice health. Fasting is good. This is not Akadashi. This way, all any festival. Anything, any object of Bhagavan, we are going to think with enjoying mood. This is called Joshi Sangha. So Bhakti Mataka wanted to say, if I want to enjoy this light, if I want to, very nice, now today is very good, it looks nice, room is very good, then this light becomes Joshi Sangha for me. Bhakti Mataka used to say, all of us, every now and then, all of us, every now and then, anyway, we are doing Joshi Sangha. And so long as we are going to continue with Joshi Sangha, there is no possibility that we can get Supreme Lord. Anyhow, mentally, maybe mentally you are thinking Joshi Sangha or externally doing continuously Joshi Sangha going on. Purity should be maintained. If you are failure to maintain purity, then you cannot feel power in Hari Bhajan. If one, one man among us is contaminated somehow, if they are, you know, going to mix each other, all whole situation contaminated. This contamination can go. Somebody can touch this mala, somebody can touch this bed, somebody can touch whole contamination. So purity you must learn. When Guru Maharaj was, Guru Maharaj was last stage, even 98, 98 years of old. 90 years, he is a, a Siddha Mahatma, he is Paramahansa, but still he wanted to teach me how to maintain purity. How to maintain purity, like a brain can give signal immediately, what is contaminated, what is not, immediately. Even you, you will have to think about that maybe after 100 years, you can come up to that consciousness. So much purity Guru, Guru Vishnu maintaining, you can cry if you see their life, how tough their life. 
if you cannot maintain purity, then all you can lose, all your bhajan you cannot do. That's why purity is a must. At the age of 98, I have seen, I am taking Guru Mahal night time, maybe one o'clock night time, Guru Mahal is going to bathroom. After that, washing leg, hand, everything, doing, you know, washing mouth. I say, cold season, Maharaj, Guru Maharaj, you stop. No, you give water to purify. Actual purification, actual purification, actual purification you can get by thinking about Guru Vishnu Bhagavan. If continuous, constant remembrance, if you can remember about Prabhupada, Bhakti Muttak, continuous, no, non-stop, then purification already there. Patit Pavan Jagannath, you will have to think always. So this way, Mahaprabhu wanted to show us how to maintain purity of your heart and soul, everything. Purity. So he wanted to give punishment to Chhoto Haridas. Chhoto Haridas has done some wrong, maybe it's one kind of Leela done. Chhoto Haridas was expressing some enjoying mood, little bit, nothing else. A little bit, slight enjoying mood. Slight enjoying mood. He went there to collect rice from Madhubi Devi Dasi. And there, there Madhubi Devi was there. So Madhubi Devi is old lady. Madhubi Devi is old lady. Not only that, Madhubi Devi can be counted as three and a half intimate person. So Madhubi Devi, Madhubi Devi can be counted eh, within these three and a half devotees. Follow. Saru Gosai, Rai Mahasai, Sikhi Maithi and his sister, Madhubi Devi Dasi. This way, but she was old age. Choto Haridas is going to collect some rice from there, collecting rice and coming back to hand over to Bhagavan Das. Bhagavan Das, one devotee, Gaur Pasha. But what was the contamination? We cannot expect, we cannot expect that Choto Haridas can look at Madhavi Devidasi, the old lady, Siddha Mahatma, Siddha lady, and she can, he can go to grow some karma. Cannot. There was one maid servant. There was one maid servant of Madhavi Devidasi. Chotori Das not doing anything. Nothing doing. But only growing a slight, you know, enjoying mood. Immediately Mahapu was sitting inside heart. Immediately Mahapu was sitting inside heart. Mahapu understand. When he is coming and going to hand over this rice to you know, Bhagavan Das, that day it was an invitation of uh, Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu was supposed to take prasadam there. So, Bhagavan Das making rice, very, everything done. Mahaprabhu also taking prasadam. Oh, very nice rice. Mahaprabhu speaking while taking the rice. Oh, nice, fine rice. Where from you get? I ah, we got from, you know, Madhavi Devi Das, who, who went to, who went to beg this rice? Actually, Choto Haridas went to beg, okay. Mahaprabhu knowing everything, sitting inside. After they had taken prasadam, gone to, uh, gone to, you know, Gambira Mandir, gone inside Gambira Mandir. And on reaching, Mahaprabhu giving instruction to Govinda, Govinda, from today onward, the gate for Choto Haridas is closed. Don't allow him to come here. Chuto, Govinda speaking, why? Govinda is not going to ask any question to Prabhu. He fear. Okay. But all devotees, they become surprised. How is it possible? Chuto is doing so many seva, this, that. Chuto is not allowed to come in front of Mahaprabhu. How we can permit? So everybody asking Prabhu, what problem happened? What he has done? Prabhu not giving answer. When Saurabh Gosai asking, 
Ah, follow. Nityananda Prabhu was also there. Then Mahaprabhu speaking, my mind is not under my control. Mahaprabhu speaking, my mind is not under my control. I cannot allow any Yashit Sangha to come in front of me. I cannot allow. Prabhu kahe mor moon, nahi mor boss. My mind is not under my control. I cannot allow any Yashit Sangha. I mean, those who are doing Sangha, Yashit Sangha can come to me, I cannot allow. When Rai Ramananda Adi going to request, Mahaprabhu speaking, well, you can stay here. You can all stay here. I am going to leave for Alangnath. I cannot stay with anybody. If you further going to request me for this, to excuse about Chhatori Das, then you cannot find me here. I am going to leave. I am going to I am going to go to Alalnath. I can stay there. I cannot stay with you. Then all devotee becomes shocked. <gasps> Mahaprabhu is so careful about that. Those who are coming for Krishna Bhajan, how perfect, how purity they should be they should maintain. It's called Krishna Bhajan. So Mahaprabhu wanted to give punishment to Chotaridas. He never wanted to excuse him. Finally, after one year, after one year because Chotaridas wanted to wait. Chotaridas was waiting. The if Mahaprabhu become merciful to me. I am going to excuse me. I don't know what I have done. But Mahaprabhu is not going to excuse. After one year over, after one year, complete one year over, Mahaprabhu asking, where is Choto Haridas? Mahaprabhu asking, where is Choto Haridas? Then some devotee speaking, Prabhu, Choto Haridas waiting, Choto Haridas was waiting to get your mercy for a long time. When you are not going to show mercy to him, he took decision to go to Elahabad. I mean, Ganga, Jamuna, Saraswati, three river countries. He wanted to jump into water, to leave body. It is not actually suicide. If you think it is suicide, it is wrong. Because suicide people doing, because they wanted to get some enjoyment, not getting. What is the mood be behind, behind? What is the mood behind suicide? Wanted to get some enjoyment. Wanted to avoid some problem. Could not, could not do. That's why I wanted to. But here, Choto Haridas, with full determination, here Choto Haridas, with full determination to get the lotus feet of Mahaprabhu. I mean, to get the seva eternal. He wanted to jump into the water by remembering the lotus feet of Mahaprabhu. So it is not suicide. One kind of teaching is given by Mahaprabhu. So Joseph Sangha anyway, also you can see, each and everybody cannot remember all Tattva Siddhanta. Everybody hearing. You cannot find even one single man all over the world. All over the world, one or two men you can show me. Who can really realize, you know, the deep meaning of Sastra? Maybe memory is good, can memorize something and pass lecture. But oratorship, I mean, oratorship must be, you know, proficiency is different. But realization is totally different thing, not same. So people cannot remember Sastra Siddhanta, they cannot implement in their life. They cannot implement simply because they are not going to follow following purity of their mind and heart. Simply for this only reason. Only this. Any one of you can you know, agree. I can give you prescription. You can follow. Then you can remember. But you cannot do. Impossible. Even in dream you should not do any Asa Sangha. Impossible. Almost impossible. I know. So this way, Joseph Sangha should be avoided eh, to realize Sasa Siddhanta. I mean, Ud Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking to Uddhav, it is only possible for Uddhav to catch all Sasa Siddhanta. It is only possible for Parikshit Maharaj 
to realize all Sastra Siddhanta in memory. It was possible for Shrutadev Goswami to realize and, and uh, to keep in memory all Sastra Siddhanta, whole Bhagavatam, what he heard from Shukdev Goswami. When Shukdev Goswami was speaking Harikatha, that time Shrutadev Goswami also there. All Munishi also. All Munishi they gather, they get together to hear the Bhagavat Provocation. Nectarian lecture of Bhagavatam from Shukdev Goswami. When Parikhid Maharaj was sitting, Parikhid Maharaj was sitting, no? Parikhid Maharaj hearing Harikatha. While all other Rishimans, they also hearing. Among them, Shutadev Goswami was present. Shutadev Goswami was also present there. So, Shutadev Goswami. Because of his extreme, you know, purity, if you can remember the, the lotus feet of Guru Padma, the extreme purity. That's why Sukadev Goswami can speak Bhagavad Katha in total, without any addition alteration. Sukadev Goswami is speaking what he heard from uh, Sukadev Goswami. This way, perfection of Hari Bhajan you can realize. When you are totally free of Joshi Sangha, which is really impossible, but possible. I can give one example. Suppose another example. Suppose I am going to serve Guru Pad Padma. I am going to serve Guru Pad Padma. With what mood? I am serving my Guru Maharaj. Is there any mood? Any personal interest there? With some personal interest, if I am going to do Guru Seva, then it is become Joshish Sangha. I have some target with this I am doing Guru Seva. One example is more than enough. We can become very alert. One example is more than enough. And we can become so much alert. What is that? Mahaprabhu, after taking prasadam in the noontime, Mahaprabhu, after taking prasadam in the noon time, for some, for, Mahaprabhu was taking rest a little bit. Because after prasadam, for 10, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, Mahaprabhu. In the meantime, Govindo wanted to come inside room. Govindo wanted to come inside room to, to message the lotus feet of Mahaprabhu. But Mahaprabhu sleeping in such a way, in the ground. Mahaprabhu has no bed. Mahaprabhu sleeping on ground. Only one relate cloth and sleeping. Winters. So, so those who are pure devotee, they are purposely. Their body, their bed is so hard. One wooden structure or even ply. They are sleeping or in a mat. So hard. Purposely, they are going to undergo this kind of assurity finances, their life. Now, Govindo cannot come inside room because Mahaprabhu is sleeping in such a place. The whole gate, Mahaprabhu is tall figure. Suppose a man is sleeping in the gate, how you can come inside? He cannot come because Mahaprabhu is sleeping. Because the room is very small. Nah. You, you've been there anytime? Never you went there? In Gambira Mandir, in Gambira Mandir, you can see the small apartment, very small, Bhajan Kuti. If one man is going to sleep there, nobody can enter. So small. And inside this Gambira Mandir, Rai Ramananda and Mahaprabhu wanted to, uh, they used to discuss all this uh, secret darshan inside the Gambira Mandir. Day and night. So now Govindo, he wanted to enter into the room to do some seva, but he cannot come inside because Mahaprabhu is sleeping. Govinda asking, Prabhu, Prabhu, you just give me sight. I like to go inside. Prabhu said, I cannot move my body. I am very tired. Purposely Mahaprabhu speaking. I cannot move my body. I am very tired. Uh, then how I can go inside? You go or not go, that's up to you. 
Govinda asking, how to go inside room if you are sleeping there? You go, not go, that's up to you. How to go, not to go, that's up to you. You know, I am not going to sing, Mahapur sleeping. After that, Govinda, what doing? His own red cloth, going to keep on the body of Mahaprabhu and crossing Mahaprabhu. I mean, Mahaprabhu sleeping and Govinda putting one cloth on the body of Mahaprabhu and going to cross over and coming inside the room. Try to understand this Siddhanta. And going to message the lake of Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu is very tired. Going to message the lake. After messaging is messaging is over, Govinda speaking, Prabhu, I like to go outside. He plays and uh, give sight. How you came inside? How you came inside? I was sleeping same way. Eh? How you came inside? Same way you can go outside. Govinda not going. Try to try to realize this fine Siddhanta. Mahaprabhu, how you came inside? Similar way you can go out. No, I cannot go. Why? Not giving answer. After after long time, Mahaprabhu, now still you are not going to take prasadam? There? Prasadam lying? Long time? I took prasadam long. Because after Mahaprabhu prasadam is over, Govinda taking the prasadam, some prasadam, it is a ruse. Govinda giving to Choto Haridas, and rest of the prasadam, somebody asking, and the rest of the prasadam, Govinda take. Mahaprabhu said, long time over, you are not going to take prasadam. How we can go? You are sitting inside, I am sleeping. Why Govinda not going? Why Govinda not going to take prasadam? Similar way. And same way, Govinda could go, but not going. Because it is the Siddhanta Vichaha. It is a fine Siddhanta. If you, can, if you can read volumes of book, you cannot understand. Is a question of realization. Govinda coming inside to do seva. So for seva, Govinda thinking if I go to hell, if I am going to go, if I am going to hell for crossing Mahaprabhu, if I am going to cross Mahaprabhu to do seva, if I am going to hell, no problem. For seva, but now how I can go? Because now I am going to take prasadam for my personal benefit, na? Now I am going to, if I am going to cross, then his purpose, to, purpose is totally separate. Now I am going to take prasadam. It's my personal interest. So you see how fine judgment. Vaishnavas, they have so fine judgment, they can see long. They can see long distance. What to do, how to do, they can realize. So, you see, our Uddhavji Maharaj, you know, is already purified. There is no question that Uddhavji Maharaj is, you know, foolish person, not that. Uddhavji Maharaj is a great personality, but still, by the, it is a desire of Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu wanted to keep him as a Mahaprabhu wanted to keep him as an Acharya. So you, now you realize, na, the Acharya, how much perfection an Acharya should have. Not that in a society, some man, some woman, they put some water on the head and Obishek done and become Acharya. This is not a rule. It is one kind of evolution. This kind of Siddhanta, what I am speaking, this kind of Siddhanta, what I am speaking, is one kind of evolution. Nobody can obey. Nobody can realize how fine Siddhanta. So, Acharya is not a matter of joke. Bhagavan Sri Krishna wanted to make Uddhavji Acharya. Uddhavji is a knowledgeable personality, but still, Uddhavji wants to show some humble attitude. If you want to uh, keep me here, as an Acharya, so you will have to teach me. I am foolish, I have no idea about. So this way, we are learning that 24, 24 Guru, 
24 different gurus. 24 different gurus made by. And one by one we are discussing. One by one we are discussing. Tenth, number tenth guru, we know that is Python. Python, you know? Python, big, long, Python. And Python not moving anywhere. Python always, always sleeping. I mean, see, see one place. If some thing coming, then python going to sw swallow. Any animal, anything going to come, then python going to swallow. Otherwise, this way, normal effort, this way, normal effort to lead your life is very practical. This way, this way, your normal effort this way, your normal effort to lead your life is more practical. If you are going to try too much, like Rajaguni, demon, those who are demon, they are always trying to get abnormal. You can find their energy is abnormal. Because they are demon, nah? Rajasik, their energy abnormal. They are always trying putting energy for getting something they are doing. This way, our normal effort of life is good. In Kirtan, we find Anayashya Pai Krishna Gunagai. You don't know this Kirtan. Nobody knows. And not doing now. Anayashya Pai Krishna Gunagai, Bhaktivinoda Thakur, Bhaktivinoda Thakur writing in Kirtan. What I am going to, what I am going to get very easily, what I am going to get very easily, I can get satisfied with that. What I am going to get easily, without any special effort, if I am going to get anything for to lead my life is more than so. Okay, then you can do. So normal effort because anyway, anyway in your luck. Anyway, if it is there written in your luck, anyway, if it is written in your luck that you are going to meet with trouble, you are not going to get money, position, anything. So if you try, you cannot get. If it is written in your luck that you will have to lead a poor life, it's a must. Yesterday I was speaking, na? Karmana jayate jantu karma naiva pravilyate Shukham, Dukham, Bhayam, Khemam, Karma, Naiva, Abhipadhyate. I was speaking now. Yesterday, evening time. Karma na jayate jantu. Karma na jayate jantu. Karma naiva prabiliyate. Shukham, Dukham, Bhayam, Khemam, Karma, Naiva, Abhipadhyate. What is written in your, in your luck, you will have to suffer. So, people are trying, people are trying whole day and night. If you try to find the root cause, if you try to find the root cause for why people are trying so much, for economical benefit, for different kinds of social benefit, so many things. Because they want, they always want to ensure, they always want to ensure, they always want to ensure Happiness. They won't, never like to suffer. Who who want to suffer? You speak anybody? Anybody want to suffer in life? Nobody want to suffer. Everybody like to ensure that I can get lead my life very happily. Nobody want. But still without any expectation. Still without a, any expectation, this kind of suffering coming in our life. Nobody can stop if it is written in your luck. So, normal effort, so Abhadhut Sanyas is speaking, I am learning this kind of normal effort, I mean how to lead life, you know, from this Python. My 11th number Guru, my 11th number Guru is, my 11th number Guru is ocean. My 11th number Guru is ocean, but why? Why 11th number Guru is ocean? 
Why? Eleventh number Guru is ocean. Why? What is the reason? Because ocean, who all water sources like river, small river, anything, and all river, finally they are approaching towards towards ocean. All Ganga, Jamuna, Saraswati, or if you can say Mississippi, Volga, any any river you think. Eh? All river ultimately going to approach ocean. Ocean. But the level of ocean, we cannot see the water of Ganga coming, the level of ocean is increasing. We cannot, we cannot, we cannot understand. Because ocean is so depth and so vast that this kind of calculation is useless. If you try, it's useless. So this way, our and sometime due to scorchy sunlight, many very hot sunlight, you know, all rivers of ocean going on. Sometimes somebody going to use the water water of ocean, taking some purpose, making a lake. So many things they are doing, but the level of the ocean we cannot see increasing or decreasing. We cannot understand. This way in your life, this way in your life, sometime you can get so many property, so many happiness, so many things you can get. So, and sometime you become very poor, Hello. Those common people, they are feeling very sorry for that. Common people, they are feeling sorry for that. Common people, they are always feeling sorry. Oh, now. So, according to your, according to your good luck or bad luck, if you are not going to think everything arranged by Supreme Lord according to my own activities. Even when you are going to meet with some problems, then you will have to think, it is one kind of blessing, it is one kind of asirvat. Like the Tidandi Sanyasi, I was speaking three, four days before. Tidandi Sanyasi, Tidandi Bhikshuk, then he lost all his property gone from his life. Even family member, they are going to kick him out. Even family member, they like to kick him out, go out. Then he is helpless. But he is going to think, today is my good day. He is helpless, nothing, no property, no money, nothing. He is driven out of the room. So that Tidandi Shannas is thinking, today is a very good day for me. I think, I think Supreme Lord is satisfied with me. I am sure. Nunam me Bhagavan, Nunam me Bhagavan, Nunam me Santushta Bhagavan Hari. Uh, me Bhagavan Hari today is very much satisfied with me. Why? Jeno eno tasanitam nirvedasya atmanaha. So I am going to reach this kind of poor condition. So I am going to reach this kind of poor condition and realize some. Detachment, vairagya, genuine vairagya. Now I develop vairagya, everything, nothing, nothing useful in my life. But so long, 60 years over, I am doing business, this, that, but never I am feeling this way. 60 years over, my life 60 years over, but never I feel this kind of detachment, this, this kind of realization not coming inside my heart. I never feel this whole world is unstable. I never could feel, I never could feel in my whole life that the, the material life, material life is all unstable. What is your property with which you can leave this body? Which, what property? You have some property? With, with which property you will have to leave your body? Because this property is not allowed. 
After you die, this all property, money, position, not allowed. After you leave this body, you will have to take some special property. That is called your spiritual bhajan. I mean bhajan. This property you can take with you. Otherwise, this property you cannot take. Nunam me Bhagavan. Nunam me Bhagavan. Santushto, Nunam me Bhagavan Hari Santushto. Eh? Bhagavan Hari is very happy with me, that's why I am going to develop this kind of detachment. Now, in this, when Tidandi Sanyas, you can see the life of Tidandi Sanyas, then you can understand there is no problem in his life. He is not feeling good or bad, he is okay. I'm. So, when huge amount of property coming in my life, especially this is applicable for present sadhus, especially those are applicable for at present, those are, that the incident and uh, this case of sadhus, they are coming from very poor family, very poor. When they are coming and watching money, this, that, uh, they think, um, I am Ravan. This, when you think that way, how they can teach others? Bhakti Mantra was speaking, if they are not themselves, if they are, if they are not going to realize themselves, how they can teach to others? Bhakti Mantra was speaking, we are going to publish. They themselves cannot realize how they can teach to others. So this way, when huge amount of money and property coming in Grihastha life or in, uh, you know, Renan's order anyway, then if you are going to express some proud, proud, you are going to express, I am very rich. I have seen all senior devotees sitting on ground. I am not going to speak which temple, who, I am not going to give name. All senior devotees, their age is maybe 66, 67, you know, 67 or 70 over, they are sitting on ground and he is sitting on big chair. High chair. High chair. I wonder. I wonder how he is sitting in a high chair. Where it is the rules that all Guru Vaishnava there, I can sit in low chair. But they are high chair. We have seen in the life of Bhakti of Tithu Goswami Maharaj. If somebody is going to make one inch, one inch seat, is, he was going to watch the seat. A seat is a little bit higher, is going to remove and sit. He never used to sit even one inch higher. But he is sitting, I have seen. Because of money, huge money, I can insult sadhu. Now there is two kinds of conception, poor sadhu and rich sadhu. Now these two conceptions going on, poor sadhu, rich sadhu. This conception is totally obsolete. We cannot see this way. It is insulting. What do you mean by poor, poor sadhu, rich sadhu? <laughs> money and position is just like stool and urine in their life. Ah, okay, if money is there for Krishna Seva. Okay, Krishna Seva. But that money, that amount of money, not going to put any influence in the heart of... No desert. So, if any time, if you are going to get big amount of property, you should not express false ego. When all your property gone, like the case of, like the case of Tidandi Vikshuk, is not at all sorry. All property gone, everything gone. Like Parikhit Maharaj, going to leave everything, no? Parikhit Maharaj is going to leave everything, all property, money, children, wife, everything, all. Huge amount of, going to leave everything. It is written in Bhagavatam, it is written in Bhagavatam, that Parikhit Maharaj is going to leave, Parikhit Maharaj is going to leave all about also Priyabrata, it is written. Going to leave all 
property, all huge amount of money, position, everything like stool and urine. It is a Jaho, Jaho Malavat. Jaho Mane, he left everything like stool, you are and a passing and not going to look. Jaho Malavat. Mal Mane, Mal means stool. Jaho, he left. So, this kind of mood is good for Krishna Bhajan. But of course, if we are going to find some things, everybody is going to give this kind of argument, but we are accepting for Krishna Seva. But what kind of Krishna Seva they are doing, you can search them. You can go and do some investigation. You can understand. Anyway, so my 11th number guru is Ocean. By If you are going to add, if you are going to add so much amount of water into the ocean, still the level not going, if so much amount of water, if you are going to take away from ocean, then you cannot change the level, cannot find the level, change of level. This way, we should stay in this material world, but where, where we can go? Somebody thinking, just that Maharaj speaking to leave us family life, not that, I am not speaking. Point is that, we are bound to stay here, where, where we can go? We are bound to stay here, in this world, where we can go? But, we are going to stay in this world. All sadhu you can discover there in this, all sadhu there also. In the material, in the externally you can find their material. Where the boat, boat, where I can put one boat? Usually one boat, you can boat, where boat is staying in water. A, a boat, where staying? In water. But water should not stay in boat. You, boat, boat, must, boat must be there in water, that's not a big problem. But if water is going to stay in boat, then it can capsize, it can drown. The man there in boat can drown and the boat can capsize, I mean can go down. So it's no problem, boat, boat must be there in, in, in water. Boat must be there in water, it's okay. But water should, be there in, should not be there in boat. So you must be there in family life. You, you can be there in family life. But family, your you know, material samsara, you can stay, you can stay in material samsara, externally. But sansar should not stay inside your heart. You can stay in this you know, material world. But material samsar should not stay inside you. If material samsar is going to stay inside you, even if you take sannyas, material sansar, sansar there, big problem. So this way, out of humble attitude, we should lead our life. Maybe by the by the arrangement of Bhagavan, huge amount of property can come, or I can become bigger, no matter. Same, the you know, stability of mind. No agitation, stability of mind. Now, 11 number guru, I already speak as, you know, I speak, is ocean. Number 12 number, number 12 guru, is you know is one kind of special insect one kind of special insect night time you can find special night time you can find special uh, special kind of insect especially in, in this time kali puja this time you can find insect coming they like light or light i mean if fire growing fire glowing are going to jump into fire. They are so much attracted by the light of fire, they cannot stop them, they cannot stop themselves from jumping into fire. Hello. They cannot stop. They are bound to run. And they are going to die. All insects will jump into fire, the, all their body burnt up and die. Similarly, people in the material world, they are so foolish, 
they are attracted by beautiful figure or handsome figure. This way they are attracted. This way they are going to jump into fire and going to die. For one girl, three friends for fighting. For one girl, three friends fighting with each other. Finally, one friend is going to kill another friend. Another friend is flying. And another was caught by police. So you see how much, how much, you know, maya, maya, how much attraction. So before feeling attraction, you should realize the tattva. It is very easy to pass lecture, but when you try to apply, when you try to apply in your own life, so hard. If you try to apply in your own life so hard, you cannot be a so hard. Mahaprabhu is going to show us this acharan so hard. In whole life, Mahaprabhu never going to, you know, you know, going to joke with one lady in the never whole life. Bindavan Das Thakur writing that Mahaprabhu doing everything for Leela, but never talk with any Mahatajis. That doesn't mean we should not talk, but not in enjoying mood. Mahaprabhu wanted to teach us. This way, this kind of insect is going to teach us that too much attraction for Rupa Asakti. We had, I started with the point, na? shape and design. Shape and design. Your body is one kind of shape and design. Your body is one kind of shape and design, it can change. It can change, na? Next life it can change. You can take another body. So why you are going to consider no shape and design? Next life you can change. Or even this life you can change. I know. I know one man, he used to love, you know, one lady so much. But after, someday, this is the status of all love. That beautiful girl, I know so many such cases. Openly, I should not speak, but still I can touch something. Very beautiful lady. And that man, love him. Going to marry, okay. Ah, love is very love, nice love. But after some day, that lady developed such a disease. You know, his face cutting all change, body change, everything. Sometimes cancer develops here, some self cancer develops in such a place which cannot be spoken. Then the husband, wife, broken. This is the status of love. This is our material love. Follow. Pox, pox, you know, small pox, a chicken pox. Now it's not a big problem, but previously, Dr. Jenner, Dr. Jenner discovered this medicine. A pox. But previously, 100 years back, 200 years back, if there is small pox or chicken pox, the man is going to die. Now no problem. And due to chicken pox, all chicken pox, all the face cutting changing. Totally change. All your beautiful face are ah, change. Totally change. Also I know some case. Two friends fighting for one lady. But that lady, I mean that girl, going to favor a special boy, I mean, whom she loved. Another boy wanted to take one acid bulb and throw in face. Face change. Practically, we know in our acid bulb. When another boy watching that, that the girl going to love that boy, so I can do something. He's going to take acid bulb and throw. And four face cutting change. This is the condition of love. So much you are learning, so much you are hearing, after that you are not getting realization. The main point, we cannot maintain purity. Once contamination down, whole contaminated. So always try to maintain purity. Anyway, this way, this is the this is the question of attraction due to shape and design. 
I told you, no? This insect, they are running into fire to jump. They cannot stop themselves running. They cannot stop themselves from running into war. They know we are going to drive us still. This way, <clears throat> my 13th number guru is, you know, Madhukar. Madhukar means, you know, honeybees. Honeybees, honeybees what doing? Honeybees going to collect honey. Honeybees going to collect honey from different flowers. Too much trouble. Every day, going flower to flower, collecting, whole day. You can say they are going, coming, going, coming. Is their duty. Whole day, they are collecting honey. They are going to, you know, collect honey. I can come to this point. And they are so much addicted. They are so much addicted to honey that they forget that evening time coming. Because I can discuss this point, those honeybees, they are collecting honey, and making honeybees, that teachings I can speak after. But I am speaking about some special honeybees, they are going to sit in a lotus flower. Lotus flower, you know, the name of lotus flower is Padma. Padma. The name of sun god is Padma Bandhu. Because when sun rises in the east, then all lotus flower are going to open. And evening time, when sun god going away, the lotus flower close. Hello, lotus flower close. That's why in Sanskrit, one name of sun god, one name of sun god is Padma Bandhu, friend of friend of lotus flower. Friend of lotus flower. When sun rises. Then all lotus flower going to open in full bloom. After sun god gone, they're going to close everything. But that honeybees forget that now evening time approaching, eh? cannot remember. So when the lotus flower is you know, very intox very addicted, eh? like intoxication is going to collect honey. In the meantime, whole lotus flower close. And their honeybees and are, are caught inside that trap. Purposely. The honeybees already caught inside, cannot come out. So much addicted. So this way, evening time when the lotus flower are going to close, that time, still that time, all to the he cannot stop drinking honey. So he become caught inside Padma. So what is the result, ultimate result of too much attraction for rasa? Too much attraction for rasa can put us into a trap. This kind of thing we are, you know, rasa sakti, we should avoid we should avoid this kind of rasa sakti attachment for enjoying rasa. We should avoid. This I learned from Madhukar Hanibis. My 14th number guru, my 14th number guru is elephant. Well, why? Elephant, what is it? But elephant in the forest running here. But elephant, we have seen. Two or three elephants fighting with each other. Eh? To meet for only one, one reason. That is one she elephant there. This elephant like to meet. This elephant then in, in between fighting. Even in Bhagavatam it is written. Tenth can throw you open I can saw. Tenth can throw you open I can saw. Those you know ox you know sal. You have seen in Gosala that you know Sambhu. You have seen? One ox you have seen? At the time of Krishna, there were also ox, ox there. And for one Gomata, all ox fighting with each other. He's ah, fighting with each other. It is written in Bhagavatam. So it's natural. 
big fighting going on. So, one elephant, due to the attachment, this kind of attachment, he is feeling attraction for sea elephant and is running and cannot understand where to go, how to go, sea elephant running and did elephant also running like mad. But one trap is there, one hunter, one hunter is very clever. He is very clever, he is going to make one trap, big trap. I mean, some sloping that is covering with bamboo, this, that, so that elephant from outside cannot understand. This is not road, this is not field, it is actually cavity. Cavity, if you go there you can fall down, cannot understand. So, the trained, the trained sea elephant, the trained, that sea elephant is trained. She is running this way. And that elephant thinking, well, I can go straight cut. Why should I take trouble to? I can catch that elephant. I'm going to go that way and going to fall down in the cavity. Big cavity. Elephant now in trap. Follow. Elephant now in trap. He is caught and now taken to market. This way, elephant going to lose patience. Elephant going to lose patience due to karma. I must go. It's running. But cannot understand there can be some problem. Cannot think. So, he is going to lose his, you know, all, you know, judgment, everything, and going to, you know, fall down in a trap. This is the this is the ultimate result. This is the ultimate result of feeling. This is the ultimate result of feeling too much attraction, man and woman. This is the ultimate result of too much attraction. It's very dangerous. This way they can never come out successful. <laughs> this one kind of trap is arranged by Maya Devi. Maya Devi going to open this market. Maya Devi is going to open this market, nice market, where all lucrative, very lucrative, you know, all attractive things are there. Now it's up to you. If you are going to accept one Guru, Sadguru, you can become a realized soul and can see all like dream, all useless. Today useful, tomorrow useless. Today useful, tomorrow useless. So you are running behind one marriage. My age. So this way, my fourteenth guru is elephant. This way, you will have to realize. So I can discuss this point. So I started with this at uh, the vital point for all sannyasi, uh, brahmachari, uh, those who are going to lead their grihastha life very regulated way. For all of them, I speak. Niskin chanasya bhagavad bhajan unmukasya. Parang parang jigo misha bhavasagar sho shandar shanam vishayana matho jasita nancho ha hanto ha hanto visha bhakkanatya asadu. I can discuss this sloka tomorrow. I have no time today. Bancha kalpadurus se ke pas sindh bhavishu. Patitanan pavane pavishu. What Mahaprabhu is speaking, why Mahaprabhu is speaking this sloka, I can discuss tomorrow. You can see how Mahaprabhu.